if there's one thing on this earth I cannot do for crap unless I practice a long time for it is art. Um, I think art in general, in my opinion, is very talented. If you can draw freaking houses on like a hill um, and there's like a river in my house next to it and you did that all from memory or you like looked at something like something like outside and you took like an idea from that and then you made an imagination about that, I find it talented because you can basically make whatever you want in art form, which is kind of, which is both really cool, very talenting, and also a little bit scary. But there is one type of art form that I really want to look at and like just look at it like, what the frick, why is it like this? And it's those art pieces where people do like, you know, they take like a freaking paintbrush and they do this. You know, freaking doing this like it's a Johnny Cage brutality, like it's a Johnny Cage brutality in MK1 where he does this, you know, or like just like splashes paint onto a canvas and calls it a day, or like draws like a stick figure and gives it like a line and a hammer and they call it a stick figure with a hammer, and it get paid, it get paid so much money. Um, so that's what I'm gonna dive into because I don't really know why that gets so much like obsession if me like someone who is not as art talented as I am because I cannot draw for crap I can probably do what they did and I can probably do better because I'm pretty sure all you do when it comes to things like that all you have to do you just have to do this and like get like random colors put on a paintball and do this and you, there you go you're done you get paid million dollars for that that I don't understand and those are the types of arts that I just don't really know like why it gets paid so much money just from doing crap like that and it, it, it boggles my mind how people get paid for that like there were also some instances where um, someone can draw a freaking realistic image where you can we probably think it's like a 4k photo and then when you talk to you like oh no I painted this and you just be blown out of your mind like um, I just blown and then next thing you know you got like a freaking Damien Hurst piece right next to you and you're looking at it like what the frick is this monstrosity freaking a delusional guy draw this or something you know it, it, it's crazy when I was on vacation not that long ago I'm sitting like a therapist but when I was on vacation not that long ago um, I went to this little art gallery like it was like at um it was at like a little like outlet mall you can say and there was this art gallery <coughs> voice crack and there was this art gallery and you know, I was looking at all these paintings, and nearly, you know, no way, none of them were like freaking abstract art or whatever. They were like actually like good art pieces. Well, you know, it looks really realistic. Like there was some where uh, it had like bears fighting, and it looks really good. Or it had like um, like the like the um, the colonial revolution in America. You know, seventeen ninety something, and all that. You know, Assassin's Creed three, and they had things like um, like a house on a prairie. You know, that one TV show. And they had, you know, it, it was really nice. And all those people did amazing. I find that amazing. When I was walking through that entire art gallery, I was just blown out of my mind, just bamboozled by what I just saw. I'm like, how talented these people are. And then next thing you know, you got other people. And I'm pretty sure those paintings, they get paid like at least like, what, $10,000, $20,000? I don't quote me. And then next thing you know, you got things like freaking a Jackson Pollock or a Damien Hurst piece that's freaking puked on like he just had diarrhea and just freaking goat seed on the canvas and just said, I'm going to release it onto the canvas and call it a day. And it, it, it boggles my mind. So I kind of want to show you like what a, like a Jackson Pollock, if you guys don't know what that is, like a Jackson Pollock piece. So I have my phone right here and this is basically what it is. That's a, that's a Jackson Pollock piece right there. You see that? Like, that's crazy how that, that gets paid a lot of money. Okay, here's another one. See that? It looks a little bit better, but it's still just puking on a canvas. Here's another one. See that? And let's find one more just to, like, close it up. Yeah. Bo is just literally just, you can literally see him on the, you can literally see him on doing it and he's just on like a big canvas and he's taking like, he's taking like a, the brush thing and like in like a kneeling position and he just does this, like he's freaking whipping something and just 
puking paint on the canvas and calling it a day. Like that takes no talent at all, obviously. Um, and I know I don't have anything against these people. I'm just bamboozled about like why this gets paid so much money. Like I'm fine. You do what you want. I, you can puke on a canvas. You can spot up paint on whatever canvas. But the thing I don't understand about this is that how it gets paid so much money, like just for doing that. So let's get like another like Damien Hirst. Um, <clears throat> here, this is another one. Actual polka dots, like actual polka dots. Like this is something that someone would draw in like third grade art class and they get paid for this. Here, here's another one. Let's see. Oh yeah, and then he does things like this. He puts crap in a blue glass thing, like a dog or something like that. And he just gets paid for it. Like, what the fuck? You just, what are you doing? You're just putting a dog in there. Unless you drew the dog. Or like, unless you, like, sculpt the dog, then that's a different story. But, you know. Shoot this, bro. What? See, but this one... Okay, see, this one is a little bit better. Like, okay, you can see that's a butterfly. But but still, you know, like, it, it, it it's literally doing polka dots like it's actually actual actual polka dots you're doing i'm pretty sure that the branch thing that you drew on this one it you know i'm pretty sure it took a pretty long time but then you know, all you're doing is doing this like you're just doing this to the board like this it's like every time you do this you get paid like a thousand dollars so here's like okay one thousand two thousand three thousand four thousand five thousand you know and just doing that like it's crazy how people get paid for this like i don't understand i don't i don't understand i'm I have nothing against <clears throat> things like that. Like, if you want to do that, then do it. I mean, that's cool. You you do you. You can start a paint on a board. You can pull out thing and all that. But since you're getting paid so much freaking money for doing that, that's the thing I don't understand. And how you get paid so much money for that. It's crazy. It just boggles my mind. I think people who actually are talented <laughs> or, like, people who actually, like, draw or paint really good-looking things should get paid that much money and if you do things like that because i don't understand it i don't really understand. to all you like people who like looking at things like that just tell me like what am i missing because when i look at something like that all i see is just not good work and he's getting paid for it i don't know i'm probably missing something but from my perspective alone if you do things like that and you want to sell it at least that looks like it's something that'll be worth five dollars I, I would not even tell the difference if, like, you drew that or, like, a five-year-old child who doesn't even know how to uh, paint. Like, I wouldn't tell the difference. I, I just wouldn't tell the difference. I'm pretty sure me, back in, like, when I was five years old and actually creative, can probably draw something like that. But, you know... Or maybe draw something better than that. I don't understand. It's just something I really don't really understand in the world right now and how things like this get paid a lot of money. So... That's what I just want to talk about and just confuse. And to all you people who do know, like, why I get paid so much money, please let me know. I'm really curious to understand. And if it's, like, a good reason, then I'll probably, you know, change my opinion about it. So, yeah. Thanks for watching.